Hi guys, before we get to the installation, you need to get rid of those pliers because you don't use them for heat shrink connectors. You want to make sure that your tool has a die designed for insulated connectors. It doesn't matter if it's standard or one of these ratcheting tools. Your heating device it can either be a hot air gun or a butane torch. Now let's get to the installation. To install the crystal clear butt connector, make sure you follow the package's instructions for the proper wire strip lengths. Insert the first wire into the barrel, making sure you can visibly see the ends of the wire in the terminal's window. Using the yellow crimp nest of your crimping tool, align the tool on the yellow band of the terminal and crimp the connector's barrel. Do the same for the other side. Insert the wire so that you can visibly see the wire in the terminal's window. Align the yellow crimp nest of your tool to the yellow band of the terminal's barrel and crimp. You should be able to see both wires in the connector's window. When recovering the tubing, start by focusing the heat at the middle of the connector and move the heat to one end. You'll want to make sure that any air under the tubing is forced out. Repeat on the other side. You can now remove it from the heat and let it cool. The crystal clear tubing and the terminal's window allow for visual inspection of the integrity of the wire's copper strands over the life of the terminal. Now you have a termination that will last as long as the wire. When installing crystal clear rings, spades, and male and female terminals, make sure you follow the package's instructions for the proper wire strip length. Insert your wire into the barrel, making sure you can visibly see the ends of the wire in the terminal's 45 degree viewing window. Using the yellow crimp nest of your crimping tool, align the tool on the yellow band of the terminal and crimp the connector's barrel. When recovering the tubing, start by focusing the heat at the middle of the connector. Heat the unrecovered tubing towards your wire's insulation. You'll want to make sure any air under the tubing is forced out as the tubing recovers. The crystal clear tubing and the terminal's 45 degree window allow for visual inspection of your wire's copper strands over the life of the terminal.